a quick recap of what we did with respect to trial balance. First, we defined a trial balance. What is a trial balance? Trial balance is a statement. What? Trial balance is a statement of what? Of ledger account balances. It is a statement. Please remember it is not an account. So first, what is a trial balance? It is a statement of ledger account balances. And mind you, it is relevant on a particular date. Particular date. Why is it prepared? It is prepared. One, to confirm the arithmetical accuracy of the books. Two, it is the basis. It is the basis on which final, final accounts are prepared, the profit and loss account and the balance sheet. And also, we get a summary of all the balances at one place. So, these we talked about were the advantages of a trial balance. Arithmetical accuracy, the basis for preparing final accounts and all balances at one place. If we want details, we can go back to the ledger. How is it prepared? We said there were three methods, but most common method was the balance method. What do we do? We look at every ledger account and put the balance of that particular ledger account in the trial balance. If the debit side was more, if there's a debit balance, we put the total in the debit. If the credit balance is more, we put the amount in the credit card. Ultimately, the trial balance should agree. When is it prepared? It can be prepared at any time. It is relevant on a particular date, but definitely it can be has to be prepared at the year end. You can prepare it monthly, quarterly, half yearly, entirely up to you. Close, find out the balances of all ledger accounts and you can prepare it. But it has to be prepared at the year end because it will be the basis on the it will be the basis on which we will prepare the final accounts, the balance sheet and the profit and loss account. What is the biggest limitation of a trial balance is that it does not confirm, it does not confirm the accuracy of the books. Only the arithmetical accuracy is confirmed. Errors of principle, errors of omission of posting, errors of omission of recording, these may, will not be reflected in the trial balance. The errors of Principle. Instead of debiting an asset account, we could debit an expense account. Will not the trial balance will agree? Omission of a transaction. We forget to record completely. We do not post. We post doubly. Double post. These things. Both the debit and the credit side would be wrong, but both will tally. Such errors will not be reflected by the trial balance. We also discussed what is a suspense account. Suspense account is a temporary account. We cannot say that the suspense account will have a debit balance or that the suspense account will have a credit balance. It will have the debit, it will have a debit balance when the debit side of the trial balance is short. It will have a credit balance. When if the credit side of the trial balance is short. It is a temporary account prepared to temporarily tally the uh, trial balance. Suspense account is a balance. It may have a debit balance. It may have a credit balance depending on which side of the trial balance is short. And what did we say about the closing stock and trial balance? Usually closing stock does not appear in the trial balance. But what is closing stock? Closing stock is the goods purchased which we were not able to sell here in the current year. Since we were not able to sell in the current year, since the benefits were not received in the current year, this, this amount, this stock, this inventory, it should not be, it should not be considered as an expense and included in purchases. So what do we do? The accountant could pass an entry saying, Closing stock account debit, basically asset account debit to expense. So remove it from purchases, put it into an asset account called closing stock account. If this entry is passed, if and only if this entry is passed, then 
closing stock will appear in the trial balance. Otherwise, it is normally counted, physically counted at the end of the year and ascertained, not a separate account in the books of account.